Hey guys, so this video is going to be somewhat a follow-up video to my last video which was you know you have a chronic illness when dot dot dot. If you've not checked it out then check it out because it's quite a fun video. This video is going to be things that you will have heard if you have a chronic illness. Now this is kind of a list of things that um, me and other people that have chronic illnesses have heard a lot from other people. Now again, like my last video, I want to say thank you to my friends on Spinny Strong because they gave me ideas for this video and helped me put it together. So here we go. You're on a lot of medication for being so young. This is something I do hear a lot because I am on various tablets and various inhalers and things and people just think it's a little bit eccentric. I've never heard of that, are you sure it's real? Like, yeah, I'm totally making it up. I totally made up this list of symptoms in this really complicated disease name, just for the lols. I've only got a cold, so why won't you meet me? Because I don't want your germs because, well, I get your germs and they're gonna be twice as bad for me. My sister's boyfriend's cousin's granddad brother has that. This is something I hear quite a lot. Particularly when it comes to asthma, I hear, I know somebody with asthma. Don't you think losing weight would help? The amount that I have heard this comment defies all logic. You should become more active, it'll be beneficial. If I could be more active than I would, I don't particularly enjoy sitting on my backside doing nothing. Are you at home or at the hospital just now? You spend so much time in hospital that people actually start asking you when you talk to them if you're at home or if you're at the hospital. Are you sure you're well enough to do that? People seem to treat you like you're really, really fragile, like you're gonna break suddenly when you're diagnosed with a chronic illness. My sister has that and it's really not that bad. Stop being so dramatic. I particularly hear this a lot with asthma. People seem to think that asthma isn't that bad, but I have the severe form of asthma, so it is kind of a lot worse than your sister's asthma. You most totally enjoy getting morphine. People have this really common misconception that people enjoy getting IV morphine. The reality is I'm not actually the biggest fan of it. I don't really like the feeling it gives me. It's really quite strange. And to be honest, when you're in a lot of pain, the last thing you're really thinking about is, oh, I'm getting high off the morphine. How do you possibly cope with all of that? Um, I just have to, you know, I've not really got a choice. I can't really just sit there going, well, I don't want to deal with that today. I'm just going to not deal with it. Just got to kind of get on with it. And lastly, how are you not dead yet? I've heard this quite a lot. People seem to assume because I've been through so much medically that I really shouldn't be here anymore. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm sure there's quite a lot of people that have watched this that can totally relate to some of the things I have said. So give it a thumbs up, subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!